Speaking of the quirky misuse of our time, I've been up to no good again. Shocking, I know. Inspired by these wallpapers from a fantastic website called steampunkwallpapers.com, I decided to make my own wallpaper featuring Alphonse Mucha's Princess Hyacinth. It's a poster for a Czech pantomime that Mucha did in 1911, I believe, and it's my favorite of his works, which ranks it pretty high up there in the realm of art in general as far as I'm concerned, because I really love art and go. My sister recently bought me this shirt, and as a consequence, she's my new best friend. My dearest mother bought me this book for Christmas, and that is why she is my dearest mother. It's super great. But, believe it or not, it does not have Princess Hyacinth in it. I don't know what they were thinking. Which is crazy annoying, because actually I was looking for a printed version so I could check the colors, because when you steal them off the internet, they vary something like this. And to know what colors they're really supposed to be, I guess I'd have to ask the man himself, which could be considered creepy from beyond the grave. So I just sort of made it the colors I liked and went with it. <laughs> to begin with, I was just going to have the poster itself predominant probably on the side and uh, just some kind of backgroundy motif going on. So I looked up images. Um, I started with William Morris actually to see if he'd done anything with Hyacinth. I didn't like his Hyacinth one so much. So what I found instead was a Finnish traditional textile of a Hyacinth motif, which is awesome to work with, and I loved it. And um, then I decided to make it more like these aforementioned steampunk wallpapers. And uh, thought it would be super to add, in addition to lamps, a framed Luca. And that's the only detail that you need. Why don't I just show you the thing? Colors. <laughs> Me in Photoshop like this. My friend, who studied graphic design before I did, used to offer to hook me up with Photoshop, and I said no. I wouldn't get any homework done. So I wised up and tried to make it a legitimate occupation, so far no luck, but at least I'm getting practice. 